All right, so now that we have the debug toolbar, this is the debug toolbar over here. Um, let's look at the locals window, which is this icon right here. And to get the locals window to see it, just click this icon. When you hover over it, it'll say locals window. That's what the icon looks like. You just click it, and here's the window, the locals window here. Notice you, if you want to close it ever, you can use the X button there to close it. So let's open it again. And there's our locals window. So what does this locals window do? Um, the locals window l displays all the variables in a sub procedure and their value and their data type. And to see what is stored in your variables, um, you know, when you run this macro here, like this, here's a you know this macro that we created earlier sub vars if I run this it just ran but we don't know that it ran you know we don't have a message box stopping us to say hello or anything but it did run and it's moving really fast when it runs and you need to look into your computer's memory but it's running really fast how do you do that well there's a way where you can step through the code line by line and it's really great because now you have a chance when you're stepping through the code line by line to look into your computer's memory. And to do that, you use this icon up here, this step into icon. So when you when you put your cursor here next to the subroutine name or inside the cur or inside the subroutine and you click this step into, notice what happens. Over here, it stepped into the first line, the very first line. And notice what happened down here in the locals window. Um, it shows you it shows you that the, the name of your module is called my first module, and it just you know there's three columns here: an expression, a value, and a type. And so all this is doing in the locals window is listing out expressions and their values and then their types and here you could see in this macro there's three variables my first variable that's an integer variable x is an integer variable and y is an integer variable and if we look at the locals window here are those three variables my first variable x and y and right now because it's on the first line the value is zero in your computer's memory. There's nothing in there. There's no value. Uh, and the type of these variables, they're all integer here. So this, these types over here match whatever you declared your variables as. So now let's step through a few lines. And I just stepped through. I kind of went, I stepped through a bit fast there. But <clears throat> I stepped through this line. And look what happened. My first variable was assigned the value 8. Now in your locals window, you can see that my first value variable has the value 8. And now it's at the code is at the next line. X is equal to 80. So right now in your memory, on your computer's memory, X has the value 0. It's, it's not assigned anything. Um, if we if we step through so just press this button now X has the value 80 and the same thing for Y Y has the value 0 but once we execute this line of code by stepping through it or stepping into it you can also press F8 um, Y has the value 6000 so now we we uh, we have a way to step through every single line of code and see the variables in our sub procedure in your computer's memory and their values and it also has the type so this is very critical because now when you're when you're programming and you you encounter an error or you encounter some weird occurrence you can use this locals window to real quickly um, just see all the variables that you're working with and the values that they contain. Um, notice what happens when I execute the last line of code, which is this n sub. So when I hit that, all the values go away. 
which basically means the, they don't exist anymore in your computer's memory. And to see that, if I step through again, you know, there I hit the step into again, and look what happens. Now all those variables, those three variables, have the value zero again. Because the lifetime of those variables only lasts as long as, as, long as uh, the code is in between these two lines. As soon as you hit N sub, the value in those variables, it gets wiped out on your computer's memory. They don't, they don't remain there. They're not, you know, when you run these, when you run a macro, the, the values in your variables, they don't stay in your computer forever. You could, you, you turn off your computer, those, those values are gone, but it, 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 they disappear even quicker. They disappear when this N sub line happens. We'll see in, a, in the next, uh, in, in a couple videos from now, how we can we can manipulate these variables so that they the values last after this line, but for right now, um, when you hit this n sub line right after that is executed, the values in your variables they are erased. Okay, so that is the locals window. Um, that's all it is. And if you want to stop stepping through it, you click this stop button. Uh, it's also called the reset button. So you hit reset. And now your locals window is set to nothing. So that's what the locals window does. It, here's all my variables in my subroutine. There's three of them. It shows me what what their uh, what their values are in the computer's memory. Let's go to this variables module real quick. And if I do the same thing, if I put my cursor in this sub variables procedure and I just click this locals window, um, here you know here was a locals window, right? But if I step through it, watch what happens now. You know, because we have all these variables in here, you know, there's many, many variables declared in here, right? Um, look what happens in the locals window. There's so many variables in this locals window, and that's really cool because it's showing you every single variable in this subroutine. You know, there's, there must be more than 30 or 20 or something. It's showing you the name of them which is the expression here the value and then the the type and you can see right you can see exactly what is happening uh, here it's just listing out all the variables and the values and their type so it doesn't matter if you have three variables or if you have 300 the locals window is really great for looking at all your variables and you could step through them using this uh, you could step through the code using this step into a button here and you could see what happens when this line is executed you could go check your variable um, so that's the locals window in the next video I'll show you another window uh, called the watch window